Jess is so happy. Oh, hi, girl. How are you doing? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is going to be fun. We're going to have a fun day. Oh, boy. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi, Sam. <laughs> Yipes. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, Here she's she's back. Oh, nice. <laughs> Interesting one right there. That's the X with the line next to it. Yeah, that one had kind of two, but this is a little more verted. Yeah. Chain, you know. And these are kind of pressed down into the dirt. Yeah. These are sitting on top of it fresh. I don't know. Hmm. Well, my bucket's on the ground again. Oh, yes. How's your rope? Oh, it's loose. It looks loose. Yes, it does. It's interesting how that is upright. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like it was set there. Yep. Oh, your barrel. Oh, it's knocked over. The, the little rocks are all gone. <laughs> There's one left. Where did all the little rocks go? Okay, we got a big hole here. That could be elk, but uh, I can't imagine those elk would have any interest in them little colored rocks. Yeah. Huh, okay. Well, let's go see what's over there. The honey bear looks a little squished. They're generally always intact. Oh, oh look here. at that. Flat. It's like something's been sucking on him. It like almost looks like it's mouth-shaped. And look at the flat teeth marks on the edge of it. Yeah, look at that. Teeth marks. I'll get them to show up yeah. on camera. Oh, look at this. Here's something new. Remember Gabby's little hole she dug? Yeah. Look at the pile of limbs over it. Did you put those there when you were cleaning up last week? No, huh? <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Right there? Yeah. Yeah, this tree is kind of a pain in the butt to move over, but, oh, look at this. That, that is a huge flat area right it here. It certainly is. Right there, there's not a lot of definition to it. Maybe somebody sat down. Maybe. Got a little snack. And then, Maybe. there's yeah. four, five. This one's underneath. This. So that was jammed, was jammed in. in there. Well, this is quite a quite a little thing we're finding here. All these things piled up by Gabby's little pit she dug. All our little colored rocks are gone, but one. <laughs> and they were the sea hot colors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. There was, what, two pink and a purple, and the rest were green and blue. Yeah, and now there's, what, one pink one? One pink one. Okay, so we've got the bucket refilled. Uh, somehow or another, my jar of peanut butter didn't get into the bag when we came out here. So all they're getting today is a fresh apple pie and three fresh organic apples. And that's okay, because we're going to restock Sandy's area. And she's got peanut butter for them there. So. Yeah. All right. So let's show them what we're bringing back. Okay. Okay. What are you doing? You're so silly. Helping. She's getting yeah. the sharp corners off. Get oh, that one. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't want anybody to cut themselves on the bark. No, we don't want that. <laughs> no. Oh, very good, Gabby. Actually, oh, yeah. Oh, just take that whole piece. <laughs> You're yeah. so really silly. In the way. Silly. Okay. So, are you done? Can, can we continue? This is... <laughs> you goof. Yes. Oh, Look at what you're girl. doing, ripping it all apart. Oh, one little bite at a time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, go, girl, go. That's a good girl. Oh, boy. Oh, she got a stick. Yeah. Did she get a stick? Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> you're so goofy. Are you going to run with it now? She says, I'm going to chew this up, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, we're going to take a little break from Gabby cuteness. 
<laughs> to Never. show you what we've got here. Never. <laughs> okay, so here's this ball that they brought back to us earlier this year, and I was going to find a plug to put in it. Uh oh, look who sees that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Anyway, we're going to turn around over here. So, <laughs> the ball, the water, the liquid in there has since dried up. At least it's uh, dry now. So I'm not going to worry about plugging it. I'm just going to bring it back and leave it here on the stump. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> We're just going to hide that away in Sandy's bag for a few minutes. Yeah. We'll find another stick. <laughs> okay, so we have something else here we want to share with you. This is a book that Claudia Ackley made. And she brought this out last September for our uh, Barb and Gabby camp out. Mm -hmm. And this is something... All the stuff that you saw here on the stump when we came back was mostly things that she had brought, uh, little experiments that she wanted to try. One of the things try. that she did not bring was peanut butter. She didn't put any peanut butter here. So we brought this out and put it here. I think it was the same day that the cloaker event happened. I think so. Yeah. So anyway, what's in the book here? It's one of those books like if you aren't going to be there when you read to your kids at night, you want to open it up? You can record a voice in there. Peanut butter. <laughs> and so she had you record yes. this. Yes. Deer. Elk. Apple. Tree. Man. Woman. Car. Monkey. Dogs, bird, baby. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's what the book is. So, funny thing is, she left it here that day. The book was closed, along with all the other things that were here on the stump. Mm -hmm. And we came back the next day and showed them what it was open to. No, no, that wasn't the. That was, baby. No, was it was the peanut butter. No, yeah, it was. I thought one was one day was baby and one day was peanut butter. Yeah, the peanut butter. Yeah, <laughs> peanut butter first. Yeah, it was peanut okay. butter first because that was the one thing she didn't leave. Oh. So we left a jar of peanut butter after That's that. Right. Yeah. Okay. So then the next day we came back, and it, and was? it was opened up to baby. Baby. <laughs> uh huh. So we thought that was particularly interesting, considering that it had just been during that cloaker event just minutes before we left this here that Juanita had seen what looked like she thought was a baby coming head first down the tree just right there near where we had had our yeah. experience. So anyway, just this last week Sandy and I were here and we packed all the rest of Claudia's stuff out and took it back. This is something we had taken out uh, at the end of last summer because we didn't want the weather to get to it. But Claudia has contacted us and asked that we would bring it back out again so we are doing that. And we're going to leave it here with, uh, well, what's left of the stuff we left I before. Know. And, uh, yeah, so we'll set this up and show you what it looks like when we're done. Oh, okay. what's that down in here? This. Oh, my goodness. A rock. I'm, oh, I now, I wonder if it's one that we um, missed before. Or is that one of the... It was, um, it was pressed huh. in. So there's a pink one. A pink one and, and a green, green one. one. How peculiar is that? Is there anything else in there? Big for gold. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything. Uh uh. Huh. I barely saw that. It could have been one that was just buried in there all this time. Okay. It is awfully odd that those other ones are gone. B and your G. Okay. Well, we'll leave that one and this one. Okay, so we'll just put the book here. We'll leave that there. We will put the ball here. Oh, <laughs> she didn't hear me. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. You know about those little rocks. Yes. One thing that I know I discovered right off the bat when I first started doing this gifting was that if I did something with an item, then they would do something with the mm -hmm. item. And if I just looked at it and never touched it, never did anything, mm -hmm. it would sit there indefinitely and they would never touch it, look at it, move it, do anything. Mm. So I wonder if 
when it comes to those rocks, it's not a matter that they've just been sitting there all this time untouched. Maybe it's because they were sitting all this time and we never did anything with them. Right. And once we did something with them, that drew attention back to them again. Yeah. That's very possible. Yeah. I mean, I, I know you've said that many times. If you don't change things up, and every, even though it's a gift and you don't want to take things away, I understand that, but I think it intrigues them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you've said that many times. Yeah, so, so... And we were just put those there last I week. know. We, and and, and in the last, what, idea. year and a half, two years since we've actually used those, mm -hmm. they've been out here, but we yeah. haven't even paid any attention to them. No, they sat and on neither top they. of that stump. Yeah. You know, the tall... Yeah, they just sat there. So... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so Sandy and I are here at her gifting area, and, you know, we've tried our experiments with trail cameras. That didn't go so well. We had recorders that we were leaving out here that also didn't go so well. So while Sam and I were gone over to the Blue Mountains last month, Sandy decided she was going to give it another shot. So I'm going to let her tell you about her latest experiment with a recorder. So I just wanted to hear their voices, of course, and I wanted to, you know, know who's really getting in my gift area. So um, I... And one of Sam's videos, one of Sam's viewers sent her a link to the <coughs> spyware. And it's um, like a little memory stick, 32 gigabyte memory stick it was. Um, and it actually is an audio recorder. So I was, But it looks like it's a... It's a memory stick. It looks yeah. like a memory stick. And you can <laughs> plug it into your computer and that's how you transfer the files back and forth. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try this. So I order one of, I am so proud of myself. Nobody knows about it. I'm bringing it out here. And um, so I had it in my pocket and um, came to my gift area on a Friday night when we were camping in your backyard. When we were in eastern Washington. Well, you were in eastern Washington, okay. yes. And so I came up here on Friday night, left, well, did my gifting, started to walk off, forgot that I had it in my pocket, so I came back um, and put it over here. You can see where we dug up this <laughs> old tree. <laughs> so there was a, a root. It was all covered up, and down in the ground underneath, I put my little audio spyware. Um, no lights. It's black. It wasn't shiny or anything. Um, the gifting was actually on the other side. Okay. So, Saturday morning comes along. Now I'm just feeling very cheeky with it all going, okay, let's get up there and find out what happened to my, my audio. We'll see what we have on it. We come back up here, um, do the gifting. I reach down to pick up the uh, spyware. And it's gone. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, are you kidding me? In less than, what, 12 hours, it's gone? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, I'm like, dang it. We looked all over on the other side of this big stump down in there. Because usually our, my debris is kind of strung that way. So um, Darren was with me. He went up that way. Of course, you're looking for this little tiny memory stick in the middle of the forest. But, uh, so then I noticed that my calling card was gone. Now, this calling card has been out here for well over two years. Yeah, show them the calling card. Okay, show them what it looks so like. So, it's a piece of wood that was sliced off. And originally, my sister had a smiley face, put a smiley face with some lips. You can kind of see the lips still there. Oh, yeah. And the eyes, because I'm always wearing lipstick. So, I don't ever leave home without it. And those of you who didn't know me know that's true. I will turn that car around. <laughs> so, yes, she will. <laughs> my one addiction and it's lipstick. Anyway, so this thing's been out here for over two years. Nobody's ever mussed with it. It might fall off of something, but all of a sudden it was gone. It was like... <sighs> Okay, so now the spyware is gone, my calling card has gone, and I'm like, I'll be darned. So I'm totally disheartened with it all, right? Yeah. Um, and so every time I'd come back for the last how many weeks now, four weeks? Yeah. I'd be looking for it. 
And so, what was it? Uh, maybe two weeks ago? Yeah, it was two weeks. I think two it was gone ago. for two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'd come back, have a look, couldn't find it anywhere. So, Darren was with me again. And so, this time, he decided to go on up the trail that away in the opposite direction. And up on the top of that knoll, and we can go up there, is um, the spyware She's pointing audio. right over here. Yeah. And within inches is my calling card, face down in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it like mashed into the ground too? Um, possibly a little. Yeah. <laughs> that was rude, however. And they were like, oh, we told you you should do it. I'm like, oh, I can just hear Barb. <laughs> you told you you shouldn't do that. And I'm just like, how, how uh, interesting. Yeah. That there's that memory stick. And there's my little smiley face smashed Together. Yes. Moved, what, uh, at least a good oh. 75 feet yeah. up the hill over there. I know. <laughs> next to each other. Within inches, they were next to each other. That's pretty cool. Yes. So, of course, the audio uh, spyware, um, you know, the battery had drained. And we did listen to part of it. Um, we had a program that we were trying to run it through. Um, it does have some movement on it. Um, but Didn't it have like some kind of a licking or sucking sound? It, as though they were maybe tasting it? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's not food. It's, uh, so anyway, it's very interesting. If I can get the audio file and it's something that your viewers are interested in, then maybe we can figure out how to post that. Or okay. I could just bring the memory stick back. Okay. Well, maybe we can give it to it Sam and, and she can... Uh, Run it through her her gadget that picks out sounds, right? And, that's, and then she can amplify it and send it to me, and we and we can post it later on. Yeah, because it, it's I mean it's obviously somebody picked it up and yeah. moved it over there with along with my calling card. And, yeah, as somebody who found it in a place that it could not be seen from, oh, absolutely completely out of not. sight. It, totally not. It made no sound. It had no light. No. Nope. It was not shiny. No, no. It was not food. Yeah. It was, um, yes, I, evidently a message, and so I haven't brought it back out since. Yeah. Okay, so now there's something else that happened that you guys never got to hear about because it was uh, just about the time that we had our uh, June camp out. And I had actually made some video, but then I kind of took a little break and it never got used. But what had happened was we had been hearing all kinds of great sounds out here. So one night at the cabin, I knew I had to leave for a while. It was before dark. So I took one of the last recorders that we still have mm -hmm. that works, and I just took it outside, turned it on, and I set it on the bench of the picnic table, out of sight from the road, out of sight from everybody. It's very inconspicuous. There's nothing else there on the picnic mm -hmm. table. And I left. And I came back about four hours later, and it was dark then. And I'm walking by, and I look over, and it's not there. And I'm like, no, no, what the heck? <laughs> so I went and I got the flashlight, came back out, and I found it. It was on the ground several feet away from where I had left it, covered in dried mud and, and turned off. And in the recording that was on it, you could actually hear something walk up, pick it up, rattle it for a second, and it was shut off. So to me, that says... Yeah, seriously, we don't want you leaving recording devices in the woods. Because the last one in the pouch that we left out here mm -hmm. disappeared, and it's never been seen from never. since. And so. one of those was broken. And one was broken, three. yeah. One got broken, one disappeared, and the other one was still uh, yeah, used the, the from one time was, to time. Yeah, that I found covered with dried mud. And and this is also after the creek was dry. <laughs> so right. it wasn't like right. something came out of the creek with wet hands. No, it's been so dry up yeah. there. And, uh, and the, the other part of that, I mean, it's been... It was last what, winter when we had those out here in the pouches, the weatherproof pouches. Yeah. And you can hear some someone Something. walk up to it, pick it up, play with it. And there was when my other gifting site, remember, it was a ways from that. Yeah. But you could hear someone smacking their lips. Yeah. Which was really interesting. Yeah. It's like, well, they had a snack and came over to turn off the recorder. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. So I get it. I understand. <laughs> However, I just want to hear your voice. Well, I just it's just gonna voices. it's gonna have to be one of them first hand things, or just got on a recorder that you're carrying on your person, because I think they've made it abundantly clear that they don't like us leaving I things have out. To listen. 
even even outside of the cabin apparently so i feel like if they're enjoying my snacks they should at least you know burp <laughs> Come on now. we've been doing this for over two years one so nice big scratch and a belch yeah, sure. i mean that's only being cordial in some countries right yes that's yeah, right so that's in the right. forest i think that's okay <laughs> but it's like gosh it's so yes i i do believe it is a message and i do have to listen yeah frustrating as it may be i know it yeah. So um, we drew my face a little bit differently, and we're going to leave the calling card again with all their snacks under that stump. Cool. And yeah. That's so we've been leaving it. Oh, you guys actually came up, and that's why this stump over here is in that yes, condition, is because we came back with a shovel and <laughs> taking it apart, wondering if a little rodent had, you know, taken it and down into it. But there's there's no tunneling under there. Yeah. It was just a root. Wow. And so we tore it all up, and wow. And they won. One for them, zero for Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Your day will come. <laughs> okay. <laughs>